There is no denying that the idea of developing an illness is scary, especially if that illness is a disease that affects one of our vital organs. Fatty liver disease is an illness you may have already heard of, but what many might not know is that poor sleeping habits can actually put you at risk for fatty liver disease. A recent study in China has provided enough evidence suggesting that poor sleep behaviors, including daytime napping and nighttime sleep disturbances, could increase the risk of metabolic dysfunction associated fatty liver disease. What is fatty liver disease? Fatty liver disease, or hepatic steatosis, is a disorder brought on by an accumulation of excess fat in the liver. Most people don't experience any symptoms, and the disease does not lead to significant difficulties for them. In some circumstances, it can cause harm to the liver, but by adjusting your lifestyle, you can stop or reverse the development of fatty liver disease. The liver is the second largest organ in the body after the kidneys. It's quite common for people to have a few fatty deposits in their livers. Nevertheless, an excessive amount of fat might pose serious health risks, such as death in acute cases. Looking at Emerging Research New research states individuals who lead inactive lifestyles and engage in lousy sleeping patterns may be at risk of developing fatty liver disease. About a quarter of the world's adult population is affected by fatty liver disease, making it the most common form of chronic liver disease. Metabolic issues, including obesity and type 2 diabetes, are to blame for the development of this form of fatty liver disease. Fatty liver disease can eventually develop into end-stage liver disease. Research has stated, people with poor nocturnal sleep and lengthy daytime naps have the highest risk of developing fatty liver disease. Researchers studied the self-reported sleep patterns of over 5,000 individuals who had fatty liver disease. They discovered a strong association between elevated risk of fatty liver disease and a late bedtime, snoring, and daytime napping for over 30 minutes. A modest increase in sleep quality was associated with a 29% reduction in the risk of developing fatty liver disease. Those who led inactive lifestyles and were obese were more likely to experience significant adverse outcomes as a result of poor sleep quality than those who did not. Is fatty liver treatable and can it be cured? Currently, there is no drug-approved treatment for fatty liver disease. However, lifestyle modifications can reverse most stages of fatty liver disease. For instance, your doctor may recommend losing weight, doing aerobic exercise, eating well, and drinking coffee. Losing approximately 5% of your body weight may be sufficient to reduce liver fat. Losing between 7 and 10% of body weight reduces liver cell injury and inflammation and may even restore some fibrosis-related damage. Aim for gradual weight loss of 1 to 2 pounds per week. Aerobic exercise can also lead to a reduction in liver fat and, with strong intensity, a reduction in inflammation that is independent of weight loss. According to research, a Mediterranean diet may also reduce liver fat. This diet emphasizes fruit, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, and nuts, replacing butter with olive or canola oil, decreasing red meat consumption, and increasing fish and lean poultry consumption. How about consuming coffee? That's right, several studies revealed that patients with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease who drank about two cups of coffee daily had a reduced incidence of fibrosis. We have discussed the findings so far and learned how a poor night's sleep could result in fatty liver disease. Now let's examine how to regulate our sleep schedule. Consider basic methods for improving sleep, such as establishing a sleep pattern and engaging in regular physical activity. A sound sleep can be disrupted by a variety of causes, including work stress, family duties, and illness. It is heartily surprising that quality sleep might be unattainable at times. You may not have control over the factors that disrupt your sleep. However, you can develop sleep-promoting behaviors. Start with these basic suggestions. Adhere to a sleep schedule. You should allocate no more than eight hours to sleep. At least seven hours of sleep is ideal for adults in good health. Most people do not require more than eight hours of sleep to feel refreshed. Have a consistent bedtime as well as rising time, including on the weekends. Consistency supports the sleep-wake cycle of the body. If you cannot fall asleep after 20 minutes, you should leave your bedroom and engage in a calming activity. Relax by reading or listening to music. Return to bed when you're exhausted. Repeat as necessary, but keep your regular bedtime and wake-up times. Be mindful of what you eat and drink. Do not go to bed hungry or bloated. 
Specifically, avoid eating substantial meals within two hours of bedtime. Discomfort could keep you awake. Nicotine, coffee, and alcohol all warrant caution. It takes hours for the stimulating effects of nicotine and caffeine to wear off, which might interfere with sleep. And while alcohol may induce sleep initially, it can disturb sleep later in the night. Try creating a relaxing sleep environment. Keep a cold, dark, and quiet room. Evening exposure to light could make it more difficult to fall asleep. Avoid extended exposure to screens emitting light before bedtime. Consider utilizing room darkening blinds, earplugs, a fan, or other gadgets to produce a suitable setting. Before bed, engage in relaxing activities such as taking a bath or practicing relaxation techniques. Limit daytime naps. Long naps during the day can disrupt nocturnal sleep. Avoid napping in the late afternoon and restrict naps to no more than an hour. However, if you work in the evenings, you may require a late afternoon nap before work to make up for lost sleep. Engage in physical activity on a daily basis. Regular physical activity can improve sleep quality, but avoid engaging in physical activity too close to bedtime. Daily exposure to nature could also prove beneficial. Last but not least, manage your anxieties. Try to resolve your concerns or worries before going to bed. Write down your thoughts and set them aside for tomorrow. Stress management might assist. Start with the fundamentals, such as organization, identifying priorities, and work delegation. Meditation can also reduce anxiety. Almost everyone experiences sleeplessness, but if you often have difficulties sleeping, consult your doctor. Recognizing and treating any sleeping difficulties can improve your health. Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more related videos, shall we? Watch 10 life hacks to get a good night's sleep, or this is what happens to your body when you go to sleep. Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both and learn more about how to have a sound and refreshing sleep. Have you ever thought of limiting your daytime naps? Let us know in the comments below.